Hi everyone, thank you for joining me on the Little Crafter Show. Hello, my name is Aileen, and this is a bad review of a store. Um, basically, this is how it is. Um, if you guys don't know me, I will sing praises of a store if they are shipped fast, if they are quick, if the product is wonderful. I will scream it to the rooftop. But I also think that it's also imp very important if you're going to spend your money to you know let people know whether or not this store is good whether it's five dollars two dollars you know money is hard to come by these days and we you know as crafters should be you know aware of that and if somebody else knows of another store that's on their list please by all means let me know my store on my list is crafty emblem it is a store based in the uk it's online um the only way that you can pay is i believe through paypal so i did open up a case already so um okay let me start from the beginning march 13th i ordered i placed an order for uh an ink holder a sh some storage drawers and a beautiful skull that really blew my mind away the skull was a gift from my husband and I was definitely hoping I can get it in time for Father's Day. If not, I still was going to make the gift and he was going to get it. Um, so I'm really, really hurt about that. Um, so I heard that the wood was not um, available. Uh, then I heard something about the machine. Um, I also found out that emails were not being answered, so kind of a little fight broke out on uh, Facebook, their pa fan page. Um, pretty nasty, and I I definitely could understand the per person's frustration about not being able to get their items, so I can sympathize with that. Um, I do also sympathize with being an owner. Um, it is difficult, and it is hard, and um, you know... So, it was kind of weird for the response that I heard, read from the owner. And I was just like, okay, it is what it is. But it still kind of made me, like, not want to email this person because I didn't want to get nasty with them either. Trust me, because I wanted to. Um, so, I said, let me, let me, this person sounds like, you know, they're, they're going through some hard times. So, let me back off a little bit. So, yesterday I was thinking about it and... Father's Day is like next month, and I'm like, oh crap. Um, what are we gonna do? So I went on their fan page last night. Nothing. I wonder went under my favorites, and the link wasn't working. So I thought maybe I did something wrong. So I rechecked it. I did a Google search or Bing search, whatever. And um, I found the site. They say it's under construction. I said, okay, let me see their, their blog. Maybe there's information. Their blog is gone. So to me, that kind of sounds like somebody is up and running away and not taking the time to email people to let them know or to hurry up and refund them because I think that's what should have happened. If you cannot place orders or at least let people know what exactly is going on then you should be fair enough to um do what you got to do suck it up and say okay well we're just gonna have to suffer some losses and um so i already like i said i ordered it i not ordered i put in the claim for um paypal and hopefully this issue could be resolved soon it's only a 20 dollar order here in the u.s but if it was anywhere in the uk it would have been 30 pounds um, it's heartbreaking because, you know, like I said, I could have used that money for something else to for my craft room, um, because that was the main, um, objective for the order. And the second thing was for the gift. So now I'm out a gift and out a few little goodies for my craft room for storage, um, storage purposes. But, you know, um... I just wanted to let everybody know what's going on and um, I think that it's important you know we need to help one another and uh, I hope this helps you and uh, again thank you for watching and uh, bye for now.